Hello friends, welcome to Pavan Shop channel. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install MySQL in laptop or computer. So let's start. So open your browser. So I am opening my Google Chrome and type here MySQL and go to first link which is www.mysql.com so click on it and then go to download download menu click on it and then scroll down and click here mysql community downloads so i'm clicking here then click here mysql installer for windows so i'm clicking here okay and then you can see download click here download so i'm clicking on it so once you will click here so simply click here no thanks just start my download so once we'll click here so your download will start so i'm clicking here so you can see my download completed so i'm going to open it so i'm going to open it then click on yes I am going to minimize my Chrome so you will see like this pop up windows like this so I am going to install custom click here custom manually select the product that should be installed on the system so click here on custom custom then go to next and then go to e expand it mysql server so expand here so move to left move left to right okay and then go to application and mysql workbench and click here and move it left to right and then go to mysql cell this one also move to right okay that's it then click next again click next so you still have warning with your selected path are you sure want to continue yes i'm going to continue so let's execute it so i'm i'm going to click on it execute button so it will take some time For some time, I'm going to pause the my video. Later, I'll start. So you can see, cell is 100% completed and workbench is also completed 100%. But server is downloading, is still downloading. So wait some time. So you can see all three MySQL server, workbench and cell and that person download completed. So I am going to click on next. So click on next button. Then again click on execute button to install it. So I am going to click on execute button. So click on execute button. So let's wait some time to, to install.
you can see all three installation completed so now I'm going to clicking on next button so click on next button then click on next okay so you here you can see your port number 3306 right x port protocol port 33060 right if you want to change your port number you can change otherwise so i'm not going to change so now i'm going to click king on next button so so here use strong password encryption and authentication so i'm going to leave it as default so clicking on next here please choose current root password so i'm going to give my password so again click on check bit check button once check done then click on next again click on next okay then again click on execute to execute all log configuration steps so i'm going to clicking on it So my the configuration for my SQL server was successful. Click on finish. Right? Then click on next on the start my SQL workbench after is setup and start my SQL share after setup. So I'm going to click on finish button. So this one I'm going to close. So workbench, you can see workbench open. So default default username is root and password. So I'm clicking on it to connect. So now I'm going to clicking on my password. So I'm. I've, I've given my password and save in save password password in bold. So I'm clicking on it. Okay. So database databases. Okay. So here you can see I have some database. This is my pre pre database so now i'm going to click create new database create database so i'm going to click with name pawn one okay again i'm going to execute it so click here to execute and so database so you can see pawn one is created successfully right and now go to c drive okay and in c drive you can see go to program file program file you here mysql is here so go to here and server and go to bin file and here open cmd okay then type here mysql mysql hyphen u root u hyphen u per user and root is username and then space hyphen p p for password okay then click on enter so here you can type your password so i'm going to type my password so once you'll password is correct so you can see your mysql is connected so you, here you can type so databases so 
so here you can see my SQL my SQL pawan and pawan one from here also you can create 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 database pawan two okay so query executed successfully so again you can show, show databases pawan pawan one pawan two right so now you can drop dro drop database pawan two okay so again you can see pawan two is drop so deleted successfully so pawan and pawan one is here if you want to create again you can create okay and open your workbench from here also you can you can execute this query and you can see so pawan pawan one pawan two is created successfully so you so that's it for the for this video thanks thanks for watching